I'm Jay Kidlin. Mark. Nice to meet you. Razzo. Just, he pronounced it wrong. Uh, <laughs> so Mark Razzo, everybody. Uh, director of the feature length film Copenhagen. Uh, thanks for being here with us. Thank you. Um, so this is your first feature after creating some really successful shorts. Um, what, uh, just for like the young up and coming filmmakers out there, uh, what were some difficulties you faced with transitioning from shorts to features? Um, the, the biggest difficulty for me was, uh, was financing. Um, but it was also, you know, I shot this feature, I felt, I feel like at a time when I was ready to shoot it, I didn't rush it. I mm -hmm. kind of had done quite a few shorts and, and the short part of this feature was something that I felt really good about. Cool. And felt like it was the right stepping stone to kind of go in and shoot the feature. Oh, cool. Um, so once we got that, uh, once we decided to go, the biggest, the biggest issue is financing. Mm -hmm. So much stuff comes with financing, including cast and whatnot. But we were fortunate. It's still a micro-budget film, but we were we were fortunate enough to to get enough in place to make the film. And then, mm -hmm. um, in terms of you know, it's kind of funny, but in terms of actually shooting it, the challenges, I I just kind of found it like it was a short times four or five. You uh -huh. know? It was like interesting. Same thing, just a little bit longer, and in an odd way. The more we went on, the more comfortable I was, and the easier it got. So, huh. so in that aspect, it was it was quite smooth. Very cool. Um, what did you shoot on? What format? We shot on the Ari Alexa. Alexa. Yeah. Um, we were fortunate enough that Ari uh, helped us out a great deal with the camera package. So, huh. you know, we were going to originally shoot it on the 5D, and then mm -hmm. we we just kept asking for you know upgrade. Yeah, yeah serious. <laughs> That's cool, That's really man. Cool, yeah. That's awesome. Uh, what were some of your favorite parts of shooting in uh, another country? Um, my favorite part was we went there with uh, four or five friends from New York, and we just kind of landed in Copenhagen, not knowing anyone, and we just—it was a vacation, you know. And part of it was a vacation. I mean, we were stressed. We were working 15, 17 hours a day, but mm -hmm. it was—it was, it was um, a great time, and that's what made it really enjoyable. And you know, in, in Copenhagen in the summertime, the sun is up for 17, 18 hours a day, maybe even more. So that made it easier. And we all had, we got off the airplane, we all had bikes. That's how we transport. So it's just like, in a way, I say this movie is a lot like being a kid again, because I was like on my bike, which I wasn't on since I was like 14 or something like that. Yeah. And like just having a good time with friends and you know. That's really cool. Hard, but, yeah. That's really cool. Um, what do you hope people get out of seeing the film? Um, you know, on its surface, there's a there's a relationship um, there's a relationship aspect to the film. I think people will be transported to maybe a time when they were abroad or traveling. But at its core, and and, and what I was really hoping for was there's really a personal journey in this film, uh, a difficult personal journey about understanding where you come from in terms of genealogy. Uh, genealogy? Lineage, lineage, I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, you know, like kind of like breaking that cyclical pattern of that's passed on from generation, from grandfather to father to son. Mm -hmm. um, and it's a journey we all go through, and hopefully some people can connect to that and maybe can help push them to, to find that place. Very cool. Um, so, do you have any uh, future plans for other films you're making? There's quite a few. There's quite a few projects that um, I have my fingers in, or, or I'm attached to direct a couple of projects. But um, I, I really don't like getting ahead of myself and stuff like this because mm -hmm. so much of this industry is uh, dependent on financing. And you know, until you're until you're on set day one, it can go poof at any moment. So, but there's some exciting stuff. There's like a thriller. There's a grounded sci-fi, um, a drama cool. that. I'm all kind of attached to, and hopefully I'll, I'll be in the director's chair sooner rather than later. Very cool. Um, what would you say, um, your, where do your strengths lie? Writing, directing, maybe uh, some acting? They definitely do not lie with acting. Yeah. <laughs> uh, as a joke, I tried to like audition for Copenhagen myself, and did, like a tape, and it was, it was like the most terrible thing. I'm like, I wrote this, I know this movie, why can't I do it? But 
No, I have so much respect for actors. I mean, they, they really, they, they are the backbone of any film. Um, you know, I, it's hard to say, but I, I can say, I don't know if it's my strength, but I enjoy directing. I enjoy directing more than writing. Writing for me is very difficult, very monotonous. You know, it's just about hours and time. Where directing is, is a lot more, it's challenging, but it's a lot more freeing. And, mm-hmm. uh, more hands-on, definitely. Yeah, so I enjoy directing for sure, more than writing. But I like to do both. Right there with you. Um, what would you say has been your biggest accomplishment during your career? Um, my biggest accomplishment in my film career would be the student. I won a Student Academy Award for mm-hmm. my short film, um, which was a couple months. Oh no, six weeks before we shot Copenhagen. Mm. So that, that you know that that's my biggest external accomplishment. I mean, that's that's my biggest recognition, I should say, was winning that award because it's you know it's like one student from all the schools in the U.S., so it's pretty prestigious, but. But in terms of like my personal accomplishment, for sure, making Copenhagen is, is the biggest accomplishment because Very cool. it's not easy to make a feature film. I have so much respect for anyone who does it, and um, you know I did it. And and at the end of the day, like whether the film is received well or whether it does well, it's out of your hands. But but all the work comes from doing it, and, and you know, so that that's my biggest accomplishment is actually getting it done. Very cool. So I, I like that. Uh, I think that rounds it out nicely. I just have kind of a, a fun one for the last one. Um, so you recently had a son, uh, Magnus. Yes. So between a new film and a baby, it must be a lot of work. How do you wind down at the end of a long day? Uh, uh, <laughs> I don't. <laughs> <Good>. <laughs> yeah, I had a son and I, I, I used to um, just one month ago. And I, my mindset coming into this was like, if I can make a film, you know, I can I can take care of a newborn, but I, I don't know. I think I think the baby is harder. So yeah. a lot of respect to all those parents out there. You heard it here first, folks. <laughs> Babies are harder than movies. <laughs> um, all right. Well, thanks a lot. And yeah. more rewarding. And more rewarding. Uh, thanks a lot, man. Thank Seems like really cool project. Can't wait to scope it out right after this interview. <laughs>